jungle is no longer safe for you. But this is my home! Only man can protect you now. How's it going everybody? Today I'm reviewing the new film directed by John Favreau, The Jungle Book, the live action Disney adaptation of the 1967 film, The Jungle Book, which was a childhood favorite of mine. And uh, so it had a special place in my heart. I was really looking forward to this one. This was honestly probably my second favorite kids movie uh, behind The Lion King in the original Disney stuff. And then the Toy Story, which Toy Story is like my all time favorite. But uh, from the actual Disney films, this is my like second favorite. It's one of my go-to ones to watch as a kid. So I was super excited to see it. it stars Neil Seti. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. If not, maybe it's Sethi. I'm not too sure. But anyways, uh, he plays Mowgli. He's the actual only live action character in this whole thing. And the amazing part is, is that I'll get to the visuals in a sec. But I'll just start with him. He he does an amazing job uh, as Mowgli. He he embodies the character. It looks exactly like Mowgli from the animated film, which I love seeing. And you just gotta think, like the kid's performance. He's acting off of nothing. Uh, he's acting off of tennis balls on sticks and green screen here everywhere so to give the performance idea it's like it's not oscar worthy by any means i don't think it's as good as jacob trombley's performance last year for room but he does a great job especially acting off green screen uh it can be tough to do even for the most professional and veteran actors and actresses out there so uh bravo to the kid man he was amazing and speaking of the visuals these blew me away not even so much the animals themselves, because the animals look great. Uh, they look so photorealistic. The way they move, like the way Bagheera and Shere Khan just move as tigers and panthers and even Baloo as a bear and like and King Louie, like, and even Ka. Like the way these animals interact and move is so lifelike and just they just so much detail put into this. And it's amazing. But what really blew me away was the background and everything because that's all fake as well. This is all filmed in LA on a soundstage. It's all CGI, pretty much. I mean, some of the props are gonna be real, but it's pretty much all CGI. Look, you feel like you're in the jungle the whole time. You do not feel taken out of it. Like, I'm gonna bring up the Star Wars prequels. A lot of that stuff just looks fake. Whereas this stuff seems, it's so seamless. I feel like I'm in the jungle. This is pretty much clearly, in my mind, the front runner already for the best visual effects Oscar for next year like it it's amazing i don't know if anything's going to top it uh we'll have to wait and see but man the visuals this is a visual film if the visual effects don't work this thing comes off as really cheap and it, it looks amazing as for the voice cast the voice cast is great uh but my personal favorites are ben kingsley as bagheera and uh, idris elba as shere khan i think for me they sold the show but everyone has their favorite uh i'm sure there's gonna be tons of people that love bill murray's blue he's great like I'm not hating on them, but my favorites not even not necessarily in the animated because I love King Louie in the animated. Christopher Walken does a great job as King Louie. There are the songs in them, uh, at least Bare Necessities and I Want to Be Like You. Uh, they're a little bit changed, uh, and they're not. I wouldn't say this is a musical by any means, uh, but they have those songs in there, so it's kind of cool to see those come to life. My only real negative, I guess, is that it is slow at some parts. Um, I think there could have been some scenes that either quickened or just taken out. Uh, but again, I'm nitpicking on this thing. I love this movie. I think this movie will be fun for the whole family. Uh, some young kids might be frightened by it. There's a couple like jump type scares almost in this movie uh, that might frighten some young children. And Shere Khan is a very intimidating villain. He's, he's awesome. Like I said, he's one of my favorites. Uh, so there is that aspect for young kids. But for me, like it was awesome. I love seeing the darkness in it. Uh, Shere Khan, again, so menacing. Uh, just everyone, top to bottom, it was amazing. Again, just a little slow with some parts, but overall, great, great film, which brings me to my ratings. So I give it a movie rating of a 9 out of 10. Again, solid. Uh, it's going to be up there, at least my top five films for this year so far. Uh, and it has a special place in my heart. I love seeing this version of The Jungle Book come to life. And there are some changes that are made in this film. It's not sticking strictly to the Disney animated one, because when you think about it, especially, I, I'm not going to give away some scenes, but... Uh, when it comes to Blue and like King Louie and stuff, there's some scenes in the animated that don't necessarily translate well onto this live action type that they're doing right now. So I understand some of the changes that need to be made, uh, some of the things that were changed, but overall it feels like a jungle book. It is a jungle book. And also my enjoyment rating again will also be a nine out of 10 for pretty much everything I just said. So there's that. So let me know your thoughts on the jungle book in the comment section below. Let me know one of your favorite, what's your favorite uh, animated Disney film, not Pixar, but Disney film. 
Again, for me, Lion, Lion King, can't really top that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Jungle Book in the comment section below, if you're looking forward to it or not. And please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos each and every week. That is it, and I will talk to y'all later.